Hey guys, and welcome to the Mr. Alternative Crypto Network. I can't believe it, it's uh, finally, it's happening, guys. I've been saying over the past few days that, you know, there'll be some volatility coming up to the Federal, uh, Federal Reserve interest rates data, CPI data, and, you know, it's been extraordinary. People have, the Bitcoin and the crypto market's been going up the past few days. We've sort of dipped back a bit. Uh, waiting for this inflation data to come through. Uh, and as I've been saying, if, if the inflation data is uh, less or equal to what has been expected, the market will pump. The reason why that basically means we're coming to an end of the interest rate hikes um, or it, it won't be as dramatic. So they have been raising interest rates every month by three quarters of a percent. That's been happening month on month. Now we've had our first decline uh, in inflation data, which basically means uh, there's not as, not as large of a need to keep hiking interest rates at the same rate. So that three quarters of a percent could come down to half a percent or even a quarter of a percent. And basically what that means is there's more money in people's pockets and people can see the end of this interest rate uh, hike uh, in the future. So that will basically mean people will start getting confidence again and people will start deploying their money into the markets. And where's been the most hit? Well, it's been crypto and the stock market. And it look, it's evident. So what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll go to my coin market cap app. Guys, remember, um, subscribe to the Mr. Alternative Crypto Network YouTube channel. Hit the bell notification for alerts that'll come up every day. Um, and comment if you want something that I'll that you want me to talk about. Comment on the uh, on the YouTube page. So I'll go to my crypto coin market cap app. So in here, guys, quite extraordinary. This is just uh, loading up. Look at that, Bitcoin twenty four thousand five hundred fifty nine. It is up six point nine six percent for the day. Now, if I go into this and just show you what had happened the last 24 hours, okay, so you'll see over in this point over here, we got to 24,000 and then the inflation data was coming in about two day, well, day and a half time. So we started retracing because people were getting nervous, was that data going to be bad? And if it was going to be bad, we'd dump. But as I've been saying, you know, we can't get much worse than what it's been. People are already expecting interest rate hikes and people are getting over not being able to do anything. So been waiting on the sidelines, waiting to deploy cash. As soon as that inflation data came out, look at this, 22,992, bang. We literally went straight up to around 24,000. The good news is we haven't come back. So the last, I just went to the gym, the last, uh, hour or so, we've started pumping again. When I went over to the gym, it was about here, 24,300. Now it's 24,600. Let's hope this continues. Um, Ethereum, wow. We're getting close to that $2,000 mark, guys. That's up 12.85% for the day. Guys, I've been harping on about doing DCA, dollar cost averaging. I hope you guys have been deploying small amounts. Look, uh, last 30 days is up 75%. Now, you're not going to get those returns anywhere, guys. And the, and the crazy thing is, it's still, it nearly got to 5,000 at one point. So you can see it is still less than half of what it was. So now is still the time to be DCAing in. Don't muck around on this, guys. Once people start getting confidence, people will start really getting into the market, going into other... So you'll see the stable coins are losing, losing some of their traction now. People are getting out of cash and going into alternative coins. So XRP, 5.5%. Cardano is nearly 7%. Solana, 11.71%. Wow. Polkadot, nearly 10%. Dogecoin... Look, I wouldn't be getting into those meme coins, guys, but look, it's still pumping. Avalanche, 7%. Polygon, 7%. Uniswap, 10%. Look, I could just keep going on and on and on. Near, 
9%. Now, my last uh, video I was going on about the exchange tokens, and here we go, FTX, 9.6%, Kronos, 7.4%. Uh, let's keep going, let's see the next one. OKX, so that's the OKB token, 7.44%. KuCoin, 3.5%. So they're really starting to take off, guys. Um, I said the other day about looking into Kronos. And yeah, look, look, here you go. It's really starting to take off. I expect this to keep going. I, th I think it's, you know, it's one of the best buys in the market right now reason why people are starting to get confident what are they going to do they're going to start buying into crypto again what do you need to buy you need to go to an exchange now who are the big exchanges you've got um bybit binance uh crypto.com kucoin all these guys that's where the money's going to be going they're going to be making money off not only people signing up for it but all the fees involved so it's a bit of a no-brainer guys um, going down the list here, look, it's just a wave of green. Thorchain, look at that, 15.3%. Yeah, look, guys, I think, uh, I think it's quite evident in here what's going on. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just go to the, the market cap, you'll see in here the last 24 hours, we've gone from 1.08 trillion, it dipped down to 1.02 just before that Fed meeting. And then look at that, bang, we've gone one up to 1. What, 1.15 here, 1.16 trillion. So that's really starting to accelerate. The last 30 days, look, it's gone from just over 850 billion to 1.17 trillion. And this is what I mean by a step recovery. One step, two step, three step, four step, five step. That's going to continue, guys. Um, and what you'll end up seeing is we're going to get back to around this 1.2 trillion. And that's going to be the point where we'll probably get a little bit of resistance before we decide over this way here, are we on our way back up to this region? And then once we get back to that region, next stop is about here. That's the head and shoulders pattern right there about here and then you know it's it's all on so what do we do from here um i think it's quite evident that you've got to continue on this dca strategy whatever cash you've got on the side deploy bits on any dip look there might not be many dips now um but you're just going to have to bite the bullet and bitcoin still at twenty four and a half thousand is cheap it was sixty nine thousand so Guys, remember with your strategy, don't go crazy on all the small coins, but go safe, go around 50% of what you want to spend on Bitcoin, Ethereum, the rest of the 50 split up into say, you know, your Solanas, your Polygons. Um, I, I would I would say I've, I did a DCA pie chart, uh, which is on my Facebook page. Have a look at that. I've broken it down into percentages. Um, but guys, I'll be doing another post tomorrow. I think the pump's going to continue. Finally, it's happening. And look, uh, until tomorrow, have fun.